Hello. I think we're streaming now. All right. It's a nice bright day here in Canberra. I can't see my screen because it's so bright. It's beautiful uh, here in Canberra. So we got the Wolverines versus Canberra Tigers, umpired by Bronwyn Kalba, one of our main umpires. And the game's about to start. Just waiting for things to settle in the middle. I'll keep zooming in until I get it right. All right. Um, Bronwyn is just getting things sorted out in the middle. Not seeing anything come through yet, but we should have started. Ah, here we go. And first ball's up and no run. I'm gonna go to my own screen because I can't see anything on on the broadcast uh, screen. It's too bright. So I'm going to check the scores on my phone. All right, it's live. And first up bowling is Robert Bailey. Hope you guys can see that okay. I'm just going to move the camera around until I get it right. There we go. Second ball, no run. Tom Jag Jake. Jake Jacob is uh, currently uh, facing with him Raga Vendra Venkata who hasn't faced the ball yet. Here he comes. Okay, here we go. One to the offside, one run, misfield, but they're not going back for a second. So the Canberra Tigers are away. Second ball, backward of point for one run. It looks like Sukun Gupta fielding out there on the boundary or near the boundary, three quarters of the way. I should have brought a hat. It's so bright out here, you wouldn't believe it. This time of year, it's nice and warm. That's a leggish one, but uh, hit the pads, no, not out. Going down lakeside. <sighs> Let me put the microphone shield, see if that works. That's the end of that over. Three runs of the first over. Camera Tigers away. That was a rushed. Uh, oh, hang on! This guy's going over. The square leg umpire is going to the other side. I don't think he has to switch sides, but uh, let him do what he wants. It's a social competition. Everybody's out here to have fun. Out at RMC, Rama Garimela is umpiring. I'll have to check the scores in a little while. And next to us is uh, oh, that's leg side wide. And it's coming towards me. It's not going to make the boundary. It's not going to make the boundary. Uh, it's made the boundary. How are you? So that made it all the way. It trickled through to the boundary for four on the leg side wide. So that's four wides. Let's go moves on to eight. So 
So Raghavendra Viretta Vincata is scoring runs straight away without even hitting the ball. Oh, now leg side wide. So that one's worth three runs already. So that's the second wide. First one is worth one, but the, every subsequent one, wide or so no balls, are worth three runs. That's better uh, on the offside, but uh, has gone to third man for four. Raghavendra Venkata scoring runs left, right, and center. And the score moves on to 15 very quickly in the second over. Only two legal deliveries so far. So three more balls to come. And this is Baba Tanvia bowling, and uh, this time I think it might have been a no ball. I only saw one arm on the umpire, but there might have been two, so it could have been a wide, I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's a wide on the offside. So Baba not having a good time at the moment. Baba is pretty good, really bowling. Uh, usually he's just not, he just hasn't got the rhythm right at the moment. Let's hit to the uh, extra covers there for one. And Raghavendra Venkata gets away from the strike now. He's on 19. And that was the last ball of that over. So he's moved on to 20 actually. Of 7. Scoring at a pretty good rate. Tom Jacob. And fortunately for him he has to go back to the non-strikers end. And now we have Nick I believe. Coming into ball. Nick Barkley Baba is wearing his uh, 2 for 222 Richie's uh, Richie Benoit's uh, jersey he's obviously filling in for the uh, Wolverines today and that one went through to the keeper for no run A uh, good delivery through to the keeper. No run again. So Nick Barkley doing the job for the Wolverines after a uh, stellar start from um, Raghavendra Venkata. And he see that up in the air, but uh, short of the man at extra covers, and they go through for one. Now Tom Jacob, Jack, Jack, Jacob <laughs> on strike, he's uh, got two runs of five balls and he smashes this one to deep point for one. Sukun doing the fielding out there. And this score moves on to 24 in the third over oh, with one ball to come. A good ball, bunted towards Cavas and passed uh, Nick Barkley who was trying to uh, stop that and they got through for another run. So Raghavendra Venkata retains the strike and he's moved on to 22 of 11. Score now on 25 after three overs. This is Matt Blocker-Wilson, ooh. 
come off the keeper's gloves I think there might be a chance there no run another one off the back of the hands struck towards point for one and Tom Jacob on strike now he's got three of six in comes Tom uh, Matt Blocker Wilson and that's been hit towards uh, Cal Connor around the ground though for one so now we've got two more balls to come scores on 27 and another one off the back of the hand and that's just bunted towards covers short covers for no run In comes Matt Blocker Wilson again and that's hit into the ground and away towards point but no run that's the end of that over very good ball in there from uh, Blocker for only two runs of his over so far we had four different bowlers four overs play so far Tom Jacob on strike on four and do we have an oh Nick Barkley is coming back for a second over keep is fixing his uh, shoes at the moment slight delay in play it's almost ready yep there we go he's putting his gloves on <clears throat> so Nick, Nick Barkley to start his next over and anytime now she's having issues with his gloves now shouldn't take him that long to put him on okay he's got him ready to go Oh, that's a faster one, and it's gone through the keeper. That's a pretty good ball. Baba doing the fielding over here. And they gone through for two, I believe. Tom Jacob back on strike. Oh, that's a leggish one, and it's gone down towards a uh, fine leg. Baba doing the field in there at the boundary and keeping it to one. <laughs> the uh, batsman got hit by the ball thrown in. <laughs> Don't know what he was doing, he was just watching it come towards him and then hit him. Um, so that's uh, Raghavendra Venkata on strike now. This course moved on to 30. In comes Nick. Ooh, that's a fast one. Ooh, that's gone over the top for four. To deep, deep covers. That was a beauty shot, that one. Up in the air, possibly a chance, but uh, the fielder there was a bit too far from it to have a, have a go at trying to catch it. So through for four. That would have been Sukun Gupta. Just walking it in, taking his time. Ball's back here in the middle now. So Sukun's now all the way to back to the boundary. And that's gone through to the keeper. No run. Bit of a bounce at that one. Not quite high enough, but uh, it was up there. In comes Nick again. 
Uh, and this one's hit to Cavas for one. Nick Barkley doing his own fielding. And that's the end of that over. So after being pretty cheap in the first over, Nick Barkley is now giving away nine runs of his two overs. So still not too bad. Matt Block and Wilson coming back now to ball. Bowling to Raghavendra Venkata. Oh, a lot of air on that one, and that's gone over for six to deep, deep mid wicket. Yeah, Raghavendra Venkata on 34 now of 19 balls. Score moves on to 41 in the sixth over. Now I feel they're back on the boundary now. And another shot similar, but a bit. Uh, Finer and it's gone for four. That was kind of like deep backward of square leg, and that's gone all the way towards the road. So, a good hit there by Raghavendra. It moves on to 38 now of 20. Oh, that one's through to the keeper. That one deceived Raghavendra. I think that was a slower ball. He was getting ready to smack that one, but uh, he got under his bat. And so two balls to come. And he walks backwards to play it on the offside. Down towards Gali. And just the one run. Scores of 46 with one ball to come in the uh, sixth over. What a day we're having. I'm standing here in shorts and a t shirt. So warm uh, here in Canberra today. Uh, he's hit that one into the ground and he's hit towards Calcona along the ground for one run. That should be the end of that over. And uh, well, 46 after six. Nearly run eight runs and over at the moment, the rate. Let me go and check the uh, scores in the other grounds. Do -do 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 -do. Let me see what I get back. Ba -ba -ba -bam. I'm gonna have to pick. Australia again and Canberra. Ooh, that was quick. That's gone to backward or square leg, deep square leg for. Oh, they're going back for two because of the overthrow. So, Cash Canberra are playing the singers and they're currently 37 2 down in the 10th over. Off in the shower, playing the Warden Warriors, the 69, one down in the eighth over. And here the Cabra Tigers are now 49, no wickets lost in the seventh over. Ooh! And again, uh, <laughs> the uh, keeper tried to fetch that one and it's just gone through, bounced off his gloves and. Hang on a second. That's an out. Whew. You can see that happening. Let me see what's going on here. So, Tom Jacob was actually bold. So that's why it uh, slapped the, uh, the keeper in the gloves. I'm not sure what's going on here with uh, Bronwyn going off for a run. Bronwyn being the keep uh, the umpire. She's off to the uh, bag. Maybe something's gone wrong with the ball.
And uh, the Canberra Tigers are one down now with 49 runs on the scoreboard. She's coming back now. Let me see what's going on next door. Do, 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 do. Pa, 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 pa. So at RMC, off in the shower, are currently batting and there's 79 runs, one wicket down after eight. And next to us is Cash Canberra playing the singers and the 43 two down in the 11th over. And Canberra, oh, that was a Florida. It's been hit to backward or square leg towards uh, uh, towards fine leg, really. And just the one. I should keep track of what's going on here. <laughs> so they move on to 50 runs, one wicket down in the seventh over. And currently bowling is Brad Weston. Three runs of his over so far, three balls bowled. And that one's hit to deep covers for one. I should get myself a chair or a stool here. Just standing around after having run around in my soccer match. This was hit towards extra covers for one. Unfortunately, we went down 3-1. But uh, we had a good game. Had a few chances. Could have, we could have scored a couple of extra goals, but uh, the end happened. So we went down 3-1. They bring the better Blues playing at Colwell down south. So back to this game. We have Raghavendra Venkata not out. Uh, but Manish Jain is in and facing his uh, third ball. Ah, that's gone past the keeper. He's not going to make the boundary, so he's going to have to chase it. They've gone through for two so far, looking to come back for the third. Yep, yeah, three runs. David Gray is now bowling. So score now on 55 with Raghavendra Venkata on 40. Oh, another one that uh, a bit short and it's been hit to deep covers for one. Score now on 56 in the eighth over. In comes David again as a fuller ball, that's better. Oh, but give it a wide. That's a better length if you could just get it onto the stumps. Manish Jain on six of four. Oh, that's a short one again. And hit to deep covers for one. Two balls to come still from David. Score on 58. And that one's hit to... Uh, yeah, deep covers again. This time for four. So, bowling a bit too short, I think. And giving uh, 
Raghavendra, plenty of chance, uh, plenty of time there to hit that one away. Now the score on 62, one wicket down in the eighth over, one ball to come. So he needs to bowl fuller. That's better. There you go. And that comes through to the keeper. So score remains on 62 after eight overs, one wicket down. And Rob Bailey's come back to the ball again. So the ball went over so far. And he's going to be bowling to Manish, who's hit that one towards uh, Calcutta for one. So it looks like Brad Weston so far is the only bowler to have had any success with one wicket. In comes Rob again. That's leg side wide. Uh, what's going on here? Not given, maybe touch the pad or something. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> It's just a dot. Must have clipped a, ba a pad or something. Oh, shoot to keep pad that one. Alright, so Raghavendra must be getting frustrated there. He's gonna try and smack the next one, I reckon. See what happens. Score on 63. That's a full ball. Ooh, it's hit long towards Calcona. Oi, it dropped. I think that might have been Brad Weston uh, dropping that catch. It, it was falling a bit short of him, to uh, tell the truth, but um, still had a good chance. He, uh, did, he did manage to get to it, but it went through his hands onto the ground. No catch. And this one's so <laughs> it's hit towards extra covers, but uh, he meant to hit it to the leg side, I'm sure. It's uh, kind of like a top edge, but managed to squeeze a run out of that one. So the score now is on 64, one wicket down after nine hours. Raghavendra on 46, and Manish jo Jain on 8 of 6. Looks like Baba is coming back to ball now. Yeah, a few, I see a few players from the three shores sitting on the boundary enjoying their beers. And as I uh, speak, Baba comes in to bowl his second over. Oh, leg side wide. And it's gone through to the keeper. Through the past the keeper. Rob doing the fielding, keeping it to two, throwing it wildly away from the keeper. <laughs> keeping it to two. So now we have Raghavendra back on strike. He's on 49. He needs one for his retirement. And Baba is coming round the wicket. And it's hit down towards a uh, backward square leg for one. And that should be enough for him to retire. Yep, there he goes. So we're getting a uh, new batter in. So I was running a bit late today. I uh, just managed to get the stream up and going just as they were about to start. Ooh. He walked backwards to try and get that uh, to that ball, but uh, still.
couldn't get it away. This is um hmm. It says Spanish join. Oh, good save on the boundary. <laughs> he managed to save that. Um, he took a good catch there, uh, Brad Weston. <laughs> yeah. And he drops the absolute nine. I know. It, it looked good for the previous one. And he takes this one, eh? <laughs> so he's taking a really good catch there, Brad Weston. I thought he was, uh, he was actually just saving runs. But he's actually taking a brilliant catch out near the boundary at the uh, long whitish of long on yeah really good job there so he's uh, managed to get uh, Manish Jain out for 8 of 8 uh, ball Baba Tandia who's bowling again and this is uh, leg side wide again Basically, two, two new batsmen in there. Abinash Patharka is facing and he's hit that one away to backward of deep point for two. With him, George Joseph in the middle. That's the end of that over, so... I think um, looks like Avinash is going to be on strike again. And that's 10 overs ball, so they're going to switch ends. Yep, George is on strike now as they switch ends. George has got four runs already of uh, one ball because of the whites, I guess. <laughs> Sadie, it's over. The score moves on to 74 after 10, so running at 7.4 runs per over. Nick Barkley to ball again. And George on strike. That's a nice football, hit him on the pads. There's the appeal. And goes through for a leg uh, by. Yep, a signal by the umpire. Now Avinash on strike. Nick Barkley needs to ball nice and full. Yep, and he's done again. And that's gone to Gali. For one, they're coming back for two. Brad Weston chasing big and it's gone for four. Nick to about to ball his third delivery for this over. This being his third over and only 13 runs so far. And Vinash hits that away to deep point for four. <laughs> Score now moves on to 83, two down in the 11th over. Brad Weston's got a lot of field there to cover. So that's Baba on the offside, both of them. In comes Nick. And again, a shortish ball. Batsman gets under it, hits it to point for one. So 
So now we're on 84 runs, two wickets down in the 11th. One ball to come this over. Oh yeah, he got hold of that one and it's gone through for six. Massive six into the trees. Towards the car park. So that was George Joseph um, hitting a big six. Moves on to 10 of three balls. And the score now on 90. Two wickets down after 11. So now we have a change of bowler. This should be a new bowler coming in. This looks like D uh, David Gray. Didn't recognize him. This is his second over. <clears throat> he needs to bowl nice and full. Yes. And that's gone through to extra covers. Chance of a catch, but uh, a bit too far to the left of uh, Rob Bailey there. That was good length, but too wide. And in he comes again. Oh, it's a bouncer. Possibly a wide, yep. Given wide. Too high above the... Uh... <laughs> yeah. That was wide. Too high over the uh, batsman's head. That's a better ball. Yep. Nice and full will do the trick. Short balls are not, not paying out. So let's go 95. There we go. Now a nice full ball. Hit straight back to the uh, bowler. <laughs> In comes David again. Nice and full. Ah, it's got to the keeper, but uh, come off his gloves. Towards Gully, and they've gone through for one, so it's a bye. Two wickets down, 96 on the scoreboard. This is the 12th over, one ball to come, and he's got under it, and he's coming to Rob, and Rob stops it. Chance of a catch, but he was too far back for it. <laughs> and that's a Oba score 97 2 down after 12 so Brad Weston's coming back to ball now with the score 97 and 2 wickets down So now we've got uh, Brad, of course, involved in both the wickets that have been taken so far. One while bowling, and the second one as uh, a um, catch. And this one fell short of Rob again. That could have been a catch. So Brad Weston creating chances here. We got Avinash now on strike on 16 of 9. And that's a wide. So they move to 99. Two wickets down. Ah, that's gone up in the air, but it's going to fall short of the uh, fielder again. Nick Barkley this time, I think. No, David Gray. David Gray is on that side now. Uh, okay, here we got George on strike. And that's punted away. That's uh, Brad Weston's ball, really, but uh, not making any effort to get it. Keeper has to chase it, keep it to one. Score now 101. 101. Two wickets down in the 13th over with two balls to come. Brad balls a slower one, and that's gone to the boundary for four. <laughs> 
And so Avinash moves on to 22 of 12 balls. George Thank Joseph with Joe him, Billing. 13 of 6. Score now 100 and looks like a 5. <laughs> 105. Oh, it's a full delivery and it's hit two extra covers and Rob Bailey doing a good job stopping it. They go through for two. Very well done by Rob. That went towards him like a bullet, but he managed to stop it. Score now 107, two down after 13. Seven hours to come. And that looks like David Gray going back to ball. Where is Baba? Yep. Yeah. It was too fine. They move him squarer. In comes David. Ah, through to the keeper. No run. George Joseph currently facing. Oh, through to the keeper again. He was hitting that one for six if it connected. That's a bit whitish, but uh, slapped away towards a uh, backward of point for one. George a bit frustrated there. Now we got uh, Vinash back on strike. He's on 24 of 13. That's a full ball and it's gone through the keeper's gloves. For one, they're coming back for two, and they're looking for three. Yep, they're coming back for three, all right. And the ball's been balled towards the uh, hit there, and they're going back for another one. <laughs> oh, and oh, and now they're going for a fourth one. <laughs> <laughs> so they got through for four runs in the end. And um, Abinash on strike now, 24. <laughs> With uh, one ball to come. And that's just punted towards covers for one. Don't throw it. <laughs> Score now moves on to 114, two wickets down after 14 overs. Run rate 8.14. Davis down, Brad Weston's come back to ball. Brad Weston's had a few issues with his shoulder, but he seems to be bowling okay today. And that looks like a George Joseph on strike. Oh, it's gone up in the air. Could be keepers. No, it's too far back from the keeper. Yep. And so they've gone through for one. That's a good chance there. In comes Brad again. Oh, it's a wide. That could, be his, that could be his shoulder playing up. Not complaining about it though, so... Might have just have been a bad delivery. <laughs> In comes Brad. Full delivery and that's gone to deep, deep point for one. Here comes Brad again. Um, no, that was only his second legal delivery. Whoa, George made himself a bit of room. Baba chasing it and stopping it. 
the background point and they gone through for is that one or two? Can't tell. Looks like two. Two runs. So now we got George back on strike. And he spunted that over the uh, bola. Through for one. Nick Barkley doing the fielding. And all said, that's not too bad from Brad Weston after five overs. Uh, sorry, after three overs. So 21 with one ball to count this up actually. Keeper having issues with his helmet. Yeah, no, that's the second one. <laughs> Three. All right, scores on 120, two wickets down. Final delivery this over and through to the keeper. No run. And so the score remains on 120, two wickets down. Let me check the scores in the other grounds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Back to Canberra, off in the shower, 155, 4 down in the 17th over against Warden Warriors. And Cash Canberra, 140, 4 down with, uh, in the final over of their innings. And here we got Rob back on uh, back to ball. So, Robert bailing to George, always goes through to the keeper. Having a big swing, but doesn't pay off either if you don't connect. Score remains on 120. Rob again. Leg side wide. Score moves on to 121. Oh, that's gone up in the air, over the top of the uh, bowler's head, straight down the field, mostly on the offside for one. Two fielders converging, Nick Barkley picked it up. So Robert Bailey to ball his second delivery, and that's banted away towards point for one. by Avinash who moves on to 32 of 18 balls George now on strike he's on 21 oh yeah let's got that one and that's going to deep cover uh, sorry deep mid wicket for one Score now 124, two wickets down in the 17th over. Two, uh, one ball to come. Oh, that's gonna happen. The Brad Weston getting under it, but short of him. So just the one run. And that's the over. So 125, two wickets down after 16, four to come. Nick Barkley coming in to bowl. No, not today. <laughs> All right, so Nick Barkley bowling now to I think it's Avinash. Yep. And that's a wide. Yeah, 
score 126 now in the 17th over. Oh, that's hit hard. Straight to Baba through his hands. And possibly a six. Let's see what the call is. Four. Four. So Baba had a good chance there of taking that catch. Back to the bounce of his hands over towards the boundary. And lucky for Nick Barkley. There's a second chance dropped. Won by Brad Weston and now by Baba Tambea. In comes Nick. Oh yeah, full and that's gone up in the air and take it by David. Out towards the boundary. So Avinash out on 38. And with me now is uh, Doug Tony. me. <laughs> How are you, mate? Very good, thank you. Yeah, what do you got there? A bar for me? Ah, oh, thanks. Oh, I can have a bit if you want. Nah, it's alright. Yeah. I just had a sausage and stuff at the no, barbecue Nick coming here. back. Eh? Right? Yeah, yeah, we got two new outfits. This is the away jersey. Mm. You can see some of the uh, sausage sauce mm -hmm. down here. Mm -hmm. Classic. Cash Canberra, how many did you score? I got 150. It's probably one of the biggest second half turnarounds I've seen. They were at 32 oh. at 10 overs. Yeah. And then scored 120. Oh, in the back ten. In the back ten, yeah. Very good. Here we have uh, the Canberra Tiger setting a score. Currently 131. Straight down. Yeah, it's a bit dark. Mm -hmm. Trying to save a bit of battery because I keep running out. Yeah. You going to be able to umpire next week? Okay. Yeah? Can you take your gear with you and I'll give you a box of balls? Oh, yeah. I'll say I'll, I'll take the yeah, but I think so. Should be able to do at least one or two games anyway. So. Yeah. Okay. You let me know if early ones or late ones, middle. Oh, yeah, early ones. Early ones. Okay. So I can always put uh, uh, someone else in to fill to fill the last one. Even myself. I've got someone actually who's interested in doing one a weekend. So. Well, send them in. Yeah. We'll yeah. I'll I'll drive the game. Okay. All right. So the score now one thirty five. One ball to count this over. Nick Barkley. Bowling and uh, it looks like um, Avinash was caught earlier by. Oh, okay, we're just waiting for a switch of umpire, uh, square leg umpires. Yeah, switching the umpires at the moment, taking their time. Oh, so okay, that, that ball went a long way out, so it's coming back from the way beyond the boundary as well, from the car park. Looks like uh, Sukun throwing that in. Okay, so that was a, must have been a massive, massive uh, fall. Yep. <coughs> One ball to come this over. Score 135, three down. And uh, that would be George facing on 26 at the moment. That was leggish, but uh, hit away to square leg for one. Short, very short square leg. <laughs> and he still managed to score a run. So that's the end of the uh, 17th over. Score 136. So the Canberra Tigers need another 50 runs, I reckon. Of the next three overs. <laughs> so. They'll probably be looking at getting to about 160, 170. Now will throw the cats amongst the pigeons. Because uh, Wolverines should have the batting depth to get there if they're uh, chasing 160 to 170. Okay, so that's Brad Weston bowling through to the keeper for no run. Oh, Cam's charging George, but uh, missed it in the end, and uh, goes through to the keeper for no run again. So that's two dots. Surely scores must change. Yeah, it's connected with that one. 
to deep covers for one. Looks like everybody's walking in. For Murray. Yeah, he's uh, switched around and paddled the around the back. Made it to the boundary, but uh, Baba stopped it and he's just gone through for one. Very creative shot, that one. Uh, George is back on strike now. Oh, short and up and under, and it's gone for six. So Brad's finished uh, his over now. This course on 144, three down. Two overs to come. David Gray's coming back into ball now. So let me have a look at the scores in the other grounds. Mm -hmm. So according to this, um, Cash Camera finished on 154 down. And the singers in the first... Oh, they're already one wicket down. <laughs> that was uh, quick. First ball out. So they're already one down for no runs. The singers, one of our new teams. Welcome to the comp. Appeal for ah, <laughs> I think he kicked that way. <laughs> so, <laughs> leg by for the one, and uh, <laughs> um, the camera tigers here now 145 three down in the 19th over. David Gray bowling to George Joseph, ah, uh, through to the keeper off in the shower, finished with 205. Five down versus the Warden Warriors out in RMC being umpired by Rama Garimela and he's got hold of that one but where's he gone? It's gone to, uh, to the offside backward of square of, uh, of point the way he was playing it he should have gone to somewhere backward of square leg <laughs> now we got uh, Murray back on strike and um, Murray Woodford, he's on two of three. Let's see if he switches in. And not, yeah, well, kind of. <laughs> he's a wide in the end. He's trying to be proactive. And he comes leggish again, and this time he's got hold of it. And it's gone through to the boundary for four. Lakeside four, and that's the that should be the end of the year, isn't it? Oh, maybe there's one ball to come. So one fifty one on the scoreboard, three down, one ball to come in the nineteenth over. So one over to come after this. They could finish with 160 or thereabouts, maybe 170. So shuffling the field around again. Cause them to spread out, go back. So Murray showed that he can reach the boundary, so they're pushing everybody back now. Go 151, three down. One ball to come this second last over. Oh, it's a bit short and uh, it's going through to keep on a run. So we remain at 151 with one over to come. It looks like Rob Bailey is coming in to bowl the last over.
He's only given away 10 runs of his 3 overs, so fairly economical. Only Baba, Nick, and Brad have got wickets in these innings. That's gone through to the keeper. Oh, and through the keeper as well for one. And they're looking for two. Yep, two runs. Right, so I guess uh, being the last time I'm with plenty of wickets, I just run for everything. George Joseph moves on to 35. Four balls to cut this over. And that's gone up in the air. Long on for one. One fifty four on the scoreboard, three balls to come. Oh, has hit the pads, but uh, going down the leg, I guess, so leg by one. Two balls to come this innings, and he's gone for the big swing and missed it. So George not connecting, and uh, score remains at uh, 155. One ball to come now. Final delivery this innings. And he's had the big swing, it's coming towards me, and he's going to go for six. And uh, so that's a six home run. Um, of the last ball of the inning, so that's worth 12. So one from 155, they've gone on to 167. All right, we'll have a quick break while well, the uh, second innings gets underway let's move this over to where the crew is are there somewhere there we go so as i set up to start the second innings uh, and we're running about nearly 10 minutes over i'm gonna have a snooze <laughs> back with you shortly
All right, so the teams have made their way to the middle now. This is the start of the Wolverines innings. With the Canberra Tigers having finished on 167, three down. With uh, George Joseph having scored a home run, 12 runs of the last ball. And now in the middle, David Gray, I believe. With, uh, could be Matt Blocker Wilson, are they? No, Sukun Gupta is in the middle. And that's, he done to the leg side, but no run. And we have one delivery and no run so far. And he's hit that one to deep, deep point for four. Good shot from David Gray. It bumps that away to mid wicket for one. Currently bowling Sharia Shodari 
and he's uh, given away five runs so far of three balls. Sukun now on strike, David Gray on five of three. Sukun swings, it's gone up in the air, short of the fielder at the uh, covers, and he's gone through for one. Score now six, one ball to come this over. Chasing a hundred and sixty-eight to win. Leg side and hit away to find leg for one. That's the end of that over. So already on seven runs of the first over, no loss of wicket. Let me check the scores in the other grounds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bear with me while I go through the uh, options on the uh, internet, interwebs. Cash Canberra having scored 154 wickets down. They got the singers one down for 16 runs in the fourth over. Off in the shower, managed to get to 205, five down. And Warden Warriors are currently one wicket down for 16 runs in the fourth over. And here we have the Wolverines on seven, chasing 168 for the win after one over. So currently bowling for the Canberra Tigers is uh, Raghavendra Venkata and that's hit to mid wicket for one by David Gray he's uh, signaling to Sukun that he is swinging a bit swinging into the batsman let's see if Sukun takes any notice of that uh, it's a wide dish one yep yeah. no ball actually off the, must have been off the pitch no ball for one run as well. So that's two to the score. Sukun moves on to three of two. David Gray now facing. Raghavendra Venkata bowling his first over. And that's hit to extra covers for one. Sukun now facing. That's swinging in and he's missed it. Goes through to the keeper for no run. Yep, he's lucky that he hit the stumps. <laughs> Seems he looks a bit perplexed. <laughs> Scores on 11 in the second over. Two balls to come this over. That's swinging again. This time he's managed to get something on it. Maybe a uh, pads. Yep, leg by for one. So Kuhn remains on three or four, but the score moves on to 12. David Gray on strike. One ball to come this over. Ragavendra trundling in. And he's swinging down the leg side, it's a wide. So one more delivery to come. No, that was it. That must have been the sixth one. So, score now 15 after two overs. David Gray on 11 of 7 and Sukun on 3 of 4. Sharia Shodari coming into ball again. So both bowlers so far have given away seven runs each. As leg side, uh, Sukun swings for the yeah, for the stance and has gone through for four. <laughs> I don't know why he's, what he's questioning. <laughs> it's gone through for four. 
was he appealing for the white or something? I don't know. <laughs> he's hit it cleanly to a deep square leg for four, and he's asking the uh, umpire, <laughs> I don't know, for an alternative uh, decision. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, that's a very wide wide on the leg side and that's a nasty delivery that one. Bassman wasn't gonna go anywhere near that one. So we move on to 20 runs in the third over. Only one legal delivery so far. Four more to come. Oh don't know how you missed that one. He's upset. But that's called between him and the stumps. It is definitely swinging in towards him. He wants to put his head down and just hit the ball, not try to score every ball for six. Just bunt them around. Turn the strike over. All right, he's hit that one to long on for one. They're coming back for two. Easy in the end. All right, so that's three balls delivered so far. Two more to come. The score now on 22. Sukun still facing. Leg side, mid wicket. And they're just walking it off for one. One ball to come. David Gray on strike now. And so Shauria Shodari, one ball to come in his second over. It's now 15 runs of his uh, nearly two overs. And uh, Davis hit that up in the air over the head of the fielder that was there. It looks like a six. Yep. So six hit towards uh, Kyle Connor. And the score now 29 after 3. So they're running at nearly 10 runs and over, 9.67 to be precise. Well ahead of the required strike rate, I reckon. And they only need 139 runs now of the next 17 overs. So quite doable. Score 1. Uh, where am I? Uh, 29, 29 runs. Now Sukun on strike. And Raghavendra Venkata has come into ball again. Our legs are wide. That's not going to help. Need to ball tight. Far too many wides so far. Early on in the innings. That means uh, Wolverines are now on 30. And Raghavendra coming back in. Okay, so that's been hit off backward or square leg for one. David Gray back on strike, Sukun on 13, David on 17. Last ball is over, leg side wide. That's a second wide for the over at least. Um, so, so only two legal deliveries so far of this fourth over. Score on 34. David moves on to 20. Uh, body on the upside. That's better. And that's hit to extra covers for one. And David moves on to 21. Sukun now facing. He's on 13. Score on 35. No wickets lost yet. I'll check the scores in the eye grounds soon. It sounds like there's another wicket lost behind us. And uh, Sukun so hits that towards a uh, long on for one. Let's check the scores in the other grounds. How do we do this? 
technology. Ba -ba -ba -boom. All right, the singles are two weeks down. 39 runs on the scoreboard after seven overs, chasing 151 to win. That's going through to the keeper. David not happy. <laughs> um, off in the shower, having scored 205. The Warden Warriors are now two wickets down for 41 after seven. And here we have Canberra Tigers having scored 167. Wolverines are 36, uh, no loss of wickets after four. And let's go back to the score card. Ooh, hits in the pass, but going down leg. Oh, sending back. Sukun's not going anywhere. And now, they, now he calls for the run <laughs> with the other throws. <laughs> and so Sukun hit on the pass, but going down leg. Uh, he now is on 14. And David Gray on strike now on 21. Shoria Shodari bowling. And that's hit to deep covers for oh, it's going through the fielder. Oh, he's kicked it over the boundary. <laughs> Trying to save it for four. Uh, it's unfortunate for him. He pretty much had it, went through his hands, and then the process of trying to retrieve that ball, he managed to kick it over the boundary. Normally we don't do that unless we don't like the bowler, but uh, <laughs> he's uh, unfortunate to have kick, kicked it over. Score moves on to 41. David hits that over towards Cal Corner high and past the fielder, waiting for a four. So David Gray now on 29. With uh, oh, two more balls to come, so that fielder is now on the boundary. Score moves on to 45 for the Wolverines. Leg side and it's hit to mid, deep mid wicket for one. Sakun so taking it easy there, not realizing the ball was coming quickly towards his end. In the end, he had to uh, put the bat down as quick as he could. So, score on 46. And uh, Sakun swings for the hills. It's gone to the field there, but he's missed it. That is six. So, Sakun moves on to 20 of 14 balls. David Gray on 30. Score now 52 after five overs. So running at 10.4 runs per over. <clears throat> and Sharia Shudari of his three overs is given out away 36 runs, no wickets. And Raghavendra Venkata of his two overs 14. And this could be a change of bowler. Let's see who comes up is Manish. Jain for his first over. And he's bowling to David Gray, who bounces that away to mid wicket for just the one. Sukun on strike now, and he swings for it, but uh, misses it, and through to the keeper for no run. Ah, leg side wide. Scoreboard moves on to 54. 
and he swings again and this one's going to dip extra covers for one and David Gray swings towards uh, deep covers for just the one and the score moves on to 56 with one ball to come this over and Manish has given away only four runs so far and this one's gone up in the air high bounces in front of the fielder and it's just gone through for one Score now 57 after 6 overs. And we may have another change of ball. I think that's George coming in. To Sukun, who swings to deep extra covers for four. Doing the job at the moment, these two batsmen. Score now on 61 after 6.1 hours, so running at exactly six run, uh, 10 runs an hour. Sukun back on strike, George bowling. Oh, and bowled him. Here we go. That looks like Matt Blocker Wilson coming in to bat now to replace Sukun, who was doing the job but uh, forgot to block. <laughs> and um, George taking his stumps cleanly. Of repair work there on that uh, stamp that went flying. Brad Weston coming into the uh, square leg umpire position. And now facing his first delivery from George. Oh, full delivery and it's gone down to deep extra covers for one. Score moves on to 62. And so Sukun. Oh! Yeah, there was a chance of a run there from David, but uh, Matt sent him back. No chance. So Sukun out bowled for 27. And George on his final delivery now to David Gray. And David Gray hits that to mid wicket for one. So David Gray moves into 33 now of 18 balls. Sakun 27 of his 20, that's not too bad. And Matt Wilson on one of one. So David Gray should come back to strike now, to, onto the strike. Score on 63, one wicket down after seven overs for the uh, Wolverines. And um, let's check the scores in the other grounds. Does hit too long off for one. They're coming back for the second one and made it. That was closer than you thought. <laughs> so, off in the shower, having scored 205. Warren Warriors are now three down for 67 in the 11th over. 
and Cash Canberra scored 150 and the singles are three down for 64 in the 11th over and that one's hit to deep point for four Okay, um, David getting ready again. Come on. Stay in the field. David Gray facing. And he's hit that straight to the bowler who managed to grab it on the second chance. So, David Gray gone. Caught Manish Jain, the bowler. Um, so he's gone for 39 of 21. And now we have Brad Weston into the middle. Brad Weston being a lefty. Manish comes around the wicket. Two balls to come. Score now on 69 in the eighth over. And he lets that one through to the keeper for no run. One more to come this over. Oh, he swings for that one but misses it. And so that's the end of this over. And the score remains on 69. Two wickets down after eight. Needing now 99 runs of the next 12 overs. In to ball again, George for his second over, having been successful in the first one, only six runs of it and a wicket. And now we have Matt Blocker Wilson facing and swings and hits that one to long on for one. More like mid off, really. <laughs> mid on, I mean. And that's hitting the pads, but going down leg. So no run and no wicket for George. Brad Weston still on zero runs of now three balls faced. And he's got hold of that one. Uh, down to square leg for one. Blocker Wilson, Matt Blocker Wilson back on strike. Yeah, got a bit of work to do, having had a good start from uh, David and Sukun. And he swings at that one and it's gone past the bowler. Fairly straight on the onside for one. Brad Weston back on strike. He's got one run of four balls. Matt three of three, and he's managed to get uh, squeezed down to extra covers for one. And that would be the end of that over. So nine overs gone, score on 73, two wickets down. Still needing 95 runs for the next 11 overs. Okay, Manish coming back to ball again, and he's uh, coming round the wicket to Brad Weston, who swings on the onside 
one. <coughs> then uh, Matt Blocker Wilson back on strike. And big swing hits into himself, I think, and gone through for no run. Score remains on 74. Ah, he's giving himself a bit of room, hit it high and away towards Cal Connor, but uh, caught. And so Robert Bailey's coming into the middle now. That's uh, three wickets down, is it? Yes. Three wickets down, 74, 9.3 overs. And Rob hits that one away straight away for one. Two. Mid on Manish doing the fielding. Now we have Brad Weston on strike, lefty, so Manish comes around the wicket. And uh, Brad's hit that backward of square leg for one. Robert Bailey back on strike. No, that was the end of the over, so they're gonna switch ends now. Brad Weston will be on strike. Score now 76, and they still need 92 runs from the next 10 of us. And as the switch ends, we watch everybody coming around to this side of the field. <laughs> Check the scores in the air grounds soon. In the meantime, let's watch uh, Brad Weston facing a new bowler. Looks like Joyce Matthew. And that's a wide on the leg side. Yep, it is Joyce Matthew. Bowling, first delivery is a wide. And another wide, even wider than the one before. It's gone now on eighty. And Brad Weston hits that to deep mid wicket for four, right between two fielders. So we move on to 84. Game still in the balance, I reckon. Anybody's game at this stage, really. At the halfway point of the second innings. Joyce coming in, coming around the wicket. And that's a wide. And Brad swings and backward of square leg for one. All right, it's coming over the wicket now. Rob hitting the pads, but no, that was leg side. So no run and no wicket. And that's the end of that over. 
and the score on 88 three wickets down with nine hours to come needing 80 runs Now they've dropped down below this required run rate of 8.89, currently scoring at 8 runs and over. So you're gonna have to pick it up again. Brad Weston facing, and this looks like uh, Murray. Yep, Murray Woodford. And that's leg side, wide. And big swing to mid deep mid off mid on I mean mid off <laughs> mid deep mid on for one Robert Bailey now on strike and swings and hits that towards covers for one again. So slowly but surely they are approaching the 100 mark, they are on 91 now, 3 down, in the 12th hour, with 3 balls to come. A flutter and hit massive, massive 6 to Cal Corner for 6. Big swing, that went up high and a long way back, and now the fielder is going to try and figure out where the ball went. Still looking for it. You might need a bit of help, I think. Brad Weston moves on to 24 of 15. With him, Rob Bailey, on 2 of 3. And they found the ball, thankfully. Score now 97. Murray coming round the wicket this time. And a big swing. And it's gone through the field there for four. Hit him in the foot. That flew over the boundary there for four. So now we've moved on to 101, three down. In the 12th hour with one ball to come. <clears throat> Expensive over this one. Given the circumstances. 13 runs so far, one ball to come. Still coming around the wicket. And another big swing. And that's gone to... Ah, deep mid off for one run. So 14 runs in the end of that over from Murray. <clears throat> Not what the Canberra Tigers are looking for at the moment. Trying to uh, defend 168. Now requiring, Wolverines requiring 66 runs to win of the next 8 overs. And we have who's come back to ball here this looks like a new bowler yeah Abinash Patharaka coming into ball and hit over the head of the bowler and it's gone through for four on the mm, long on boundary
bridge is the helicopter going overhead at the moment. In Kansas next delivery, Brad again and bumps that away to covers for one. <clears throat> so 107 now. Means 61 runs. Whoop, that's gone under the bat. No run. That's leg side wide. So Robert Bailey moves on to three. That's uh, on the offside, but uh, hit to a uh, deep mid wicket for one. Brad Weston back on strike. One ball to come this over. And the score is 109 with three wickets down. Avinash going round the wicket. And that's hit to a uh, deep, whoop, yeah, very close to the boundary, to deep mid wicket for one. And the score is 110 after 13 overs. Now needing 58 runs. On the next seven, so now we got Murray coming back in, ball into Brad Weston again, coming round the wicket. Oh, a big swing! That's a massive six. Let's hit the tree. Yep, big six there from Brad. And so he was on 36, moves on to, oh, he was on 35, moves on to 41. Brad Weston certainly doing the job at the moment. Score moves on to 116. And now they need 52 runs. It sounds like another wicket behind us. Yep. So while we're waiting, oh, the ball's back now, but I'll check the scores on the other grounds. Let's see. Ba -ba -ba the singers next door to us are 104, chasing 151 to win. But uh, five wickets lost in the 17th over. Off in the shower. Ooh, that's gone up. And for four. So that went to Cal Connor for four of uh, Brad Weston. Uh, off in the shower scored 205. Warden Warriors are 125 down with two hours to come. And here the Wolverines have now moved on to 120 in the 14th over. Murray giving away far too many runs at the moment. He's uh, 20, 28 so far. And Brad swinging, but uh, didn't connect that time. So he stays on 45. Murray is in his second over. He's already given away 24 runs. And that's a leg side wide. To Brad Weston, who moves to 46 now. Oh, plenty of air on that one. Cal corner and it's gone through the fielder for four. So Brad's retired now. That got hit hard towards the fielder, but he should have stopped that. And luckily for him, didn't bounce properly. I think he had his hands in the right place, but the ball didn't bounce high enough. So it went through him for four. And um, now we got Tab Baba Tanvia coming into bat 
Murray still got one ball to come. He's given away 29 runs so far. Mbappe is also a big hitter. And he's hit that one away to square leg for one. All right, so Murray gave away 30 runs of his two overs. Score now on 126 with six hours to go and requiring 42 runs so now they need seven runs and over and currently running uh, scoring at nine runs and over so Wolverine is looking good for the win but a couple of wickets could change that very quickly and that's leg side wide This is Raghavendra Venkata, Venkata sorry, uh, coming in back to ball. That's a slower ball, but it's hit away to mid, deep mid wicket. Fielder managed to get to it, and they're going through for two. Four balls to come in this over. Ooh, big swing from Baba, but I uh, missed it. That was a slow one. And uh, he's out. Only four runs um, of four balls for him. So Nick Barkley now comes in to bat. And. Um, the Wolverines are now four wickets down, 129, needing 39 runs for the win. And this is the 15th over, three balls to come in this over. So we have the uh, Canberra Tigers trying to sort out their tactics, I reckon. George there. Trying to figure out how they're going to get the next few wickets and stop the Wolverines from taking the win. That's slow ball. This time it's punted to the long on position for one by uh, Nick Barkley. And so we have Rob Bailey on strike. That's a wide on the uh, leg side. And so Raghavendra Venkata, with one delivery to come, has given away 21 runs, though he took one wicket. He, he comes for his final delivery. Oh, that's a wild, wide. And uh, that's the end of that over. So he managed to give away 24 runs of his three overs. And Robert Bailey's uh, on 10 now, with Nick Barkley now about to face the next over. Score 136, needing 32 more runs to win of the next five overs. So exactly seven runs per hour, isn't it? No, 6.4 runs per hour. Ha. George Joseph has come back to ball. Nick Barkley facing, and that's a wide dish ball that wasn't called a wide. <laughs> So, of course, remains at 136. Ah, he's hit it towards the uh, bowler on the ground. <laughs> George thinking he might have had a cotton ball. G'day, mate, how are you? Six months. 
Yeah. <laughs> How you doing? Good, good. Go after it, was your Hey? Go to your Aberdeen. Yeah. I don't see you carrying beers. What, what happened? <laughs> they didn't recognize you. Yeah, no, 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 no. It was too far away. I couldn't, yeah. see, I couldn't see your beauty from so far. <laughs> so I forgot the beer. I didn't realize. I wasn't sure it was you until I got here. So That's all right. Uh, yeah, it's going to happen the air, but uh, it's going to plant short of the fielders. Yeah. And uh, that's Matt. Uh, no, who's that? Nick Barkley. Goes through for one. And uh, I have... Uh, Stephen Gray here with me. Uh, uh, David Gray was caught on ball for 39. Yeah. yeah did you see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was unlucky for him. Catch, yeah. That was a good catch. Yeah. Really good catch, yeah. On the second grab, he had two <laughs> goes at it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, Green's in a bit of trouble here, perhaps. What do you reckon? No, no, I think they're, they're going to get there. They've yeah. lost a few wickets, but uh, they're still scoring at a good rate. Yeah, okay. yeah, I think they will get there. They only need 31 runs now. Oh, right. That's yeah. Cool. yeah. That's what the other guys made a few more, didn't they? Nah, nah. 31 runs of uh, four of us. Oh, right. It should be right. So, score now. Once and who do we have bowling now? This is Manish Jain coming back to bowl. Okay, I'll leave you. Okay, mate. I want to pass. I'll bring a beer with me next time. <laughs> All right, so Nick facing Manish and swings hard, but uh, no run. What I get the eyes on now, the uh, Wolverines, uh, they're very close to getting there, but uh, they, better, they don't want to give it away at this stage. He swings again, misses it again, but the ball also misses the stumps, luckily for him. So now it's close on 137, four wickets down in the 17th over. Yeah, he swung for that one, now uh, you better run. <laughs> so he gets through for one. And the score moves on to 138, still needing 30 runs from the next uh, three and a bit of us. And uh, Rob swings, and he's gone through for one. Whoop, stamps down. So Rob moves on to 11 of 10. Nick Barkley on three of eight. Nick Barkley wants to be scoring or getting out quickly because uh, Brad Weston still out there who's been scoring all the runs he's retired on 50 odd ooh that's a wide jeez wide-ish delivery but of course uh, Nick Barkley chasing it not giving a wide uh, so Brad Weston is out there he got uh, 50 of 25 and he's retired so if they lose a couple more wickets he'll be back in uh, the four wickets down at the moment. And let's see who comes in to bowl now. So Avinash Pataka, eight runs of his over. He's about to bowl his second over with Robert Bailey facing, not out on 11. Leg side wide. These wides are very costly for the Canberra Tigers at this stage. Now with leg side wide, this time it's worth three runs. So for no effort at all. Robert Bailey's getting some runs. He's on 15 now. Okay, that was going up in the air. Fielder coming in, but short of him. And one run. It looks like the uh, match behind us is finished now. Oh, that's coming towards me. It's up in the air. Fielder getting under it. Uh, lands short of him. 
Then through for one run, Nick Barkley, Robert back on strike. And uh, Rob gets down to it and uh, squeezes that towards uh, mid wicket for one. And so now needing 22 runs of the remaining of us. So one ball to come in the 18th. And then two hours after that, Nick Barkley swings wildly but doesn't connect. That's the end of the over. So Rob will be on strike, needing 22 runs of the next two overs. So let's see, this looks like a uh, Avinash. Pathaka coming back to ball. Is that correct? Yeah. No, sorry, Ragabendra Benkata. Coming into ball, his final over to Robert Bailey, who swings, goes past the uh, bowler, stuck a foot out, and they go through for one. 20. One runs now needed of the next nine balls. So boundaries are priceless at the moment. Oof, managed to squeeze that one away to mid deep mid wicket. Field are getting around it. They should go back for two. Yep, easy two. Alright. So now needed 19. Three balls to come in this over. That looks like wide. The wise have said that it cost them uh, a lot today in these innings. <laughs> hey, look at that. Not very tall, but Thanks, mate. <laughs> oh, it's a wild one, but uh, Nick moved into it, so not a wild. I think uh, the Wolverines are struggling now. Right. They were looking good a few moments ago, but now they're struggling. Mm. They still need 20 runs, no, 19 runs. Yeah, 18 runs now of uh, the next seven balls. Wow. Okay. Two balls to come and then uh, an over to come after that. Okay. Oof. Balls. Yeah. Ah. You too, mate. See ya. Thanks. Okay, so 150. And they need 18 runs from this ball and the next over. And that's gone through to the keeper for no run. So now 18 runs required the last over. Let's see who ends up bowling. So Raghavendra Venkata doing the job there, keeping runs to a minimum. And uh, George Joseph coming in to bowl now. And he's bowling to. Robert Bailey and he's been fairly economical only 11 runs given away from his uh, three overs so far so this is the one that counts then swing and no run still needing a few more runs to get there 18 from this last over and swing and that's gone to extra covers for one. They're looking for two. Yep, they're coming back for the second one. They need to run as much as they can. They can't leave any runs in the uh, in the uh, back there. Look, they need 
it's uh, 16 runs now. It's three balls to come. Oh, man. Man, not a white. <laughs> now 16 runs of what? Two balls. Yep. Well, George scored a home run six yeah, okay. to get him to that uh, score. And that's uh, gone to the fielder and he stopped it. They're looking for two. They have to oh, oh. They could have gone for three. Robert Bailey now to score a big six of the last ball. This could be it. They need 168 to win. No, no. Yeah. And that's gone through for one. And so the Wolverines, after looking good at the start, with uh, Brad Weston scoring a 50, retired, uh, they fall short by about 15 runs. I can't see from here. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, let me know what you're doing. Uh, well, that's the end of this uh, broadcast anyway. Um, the Canberra Tigers got up. Uh, Wolverines falling short, unfortunately for them, because they were looking good at the start. But there you go. And uh, we have a man down, possibly exhausted from all the running. Alrighty. Uh, 